But today, we are not cooking for Chuck and myself. Chuck, who are we cooking for? We are cooking for the doggos. And why are we cooking for the doggos? Because it's time for birthday muffins. That's right. The girls are going to get pup cakes. So February, March are special months in our house because our old girl, Suki Dog, she's got a February birthday and our younger girls, Minnie and May, they've got the March birthdays. So we kind of have to mishmash them together. We do a little something special on each of the actual days, but then somewhere in between, we do like cupcakes of some sort that are dog friendly or some type of extra, I have to spell this word because they're in the room and they'll want it if I say it out loud, T-R-E-A-T-S. We usually do something like that. Um, they also get special toys or that kind of stuff. So for Suki's birthday, we got a bark box in in time. And so she got some extra toys out of that and some good yummies out of that. And um, Min and May's birthday is next week. So we're kind of in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and make their pup cakes and let them enjoy them today. So. We're doing a new recipe than the one I did last time, and this one is from recipe10eats.com. We'll include that in the description for you. Um, I kind of like it because one of the things that I didn't love about my last recipe was that it used so much cream cheese. So this one does not use cream cheese. Instead, for the frosting, it uses potatoes and yogurt and honey to kind of give the frosting look to it. So something a little bit healthier and better for them to be able to eat. So without further ado, let's get to the cupcake making. All right, so we are starting with two mashed bananas. And these are severely mashed bananas that I have already mashed up. And you basically just wanna get them as mashed as you possibly can. Usually if you're working with older ripe bananas, that's gonna be a little bit easier for you to mash a little bit quicker. Mine were a little bit newer, but old enough. And then to that, we're going to add our peanut butter. So we have a half a cup of peanut butter. And this particular one is a honey peanut butter. Um, it's Jif's honey peanut butter, which is lower in sodium. I don't wanna be giving them a whole lot of extra salt if I don't need to. So we've got our peanut butter in there. And then we're also going to add to that our honey, which we have a third cup of honey. And this is just a regular clover honey. I probably could have used one of our specialty honeys, but I didn't. Not for any particular reason other than I had this and I've had it for a while. So I wanted to go ahead and use it so that we can all eventually get to eating more of our specialty honeys. And then we're also going to add two eggs. And then we're going to either whisk it. Um, I personally am not in the mood for whisking today, so I'm whisking with my electric whisker or mixer. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. So the reason I chose to use my mixer instead of whisking it by hand is because I know I can get it a lot quicker and faster done um, and they're kind of waiting for something because they apparently they knew I was cooking for them. They've been in the kitchen bugging me. So I wanted to do that quicker. That's the only reason I'm using that. So now I'm gonna add my flour, which for this we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm also adding in my baking powder, which is two and a half teaspoons. And then we've got three quarters cup of water and a fourth cup of canola oil. You could use canola, you could also use olive oil for that. So we're back to mixing again. So I'm gonna mix again and get all this mixed up really good. All right, so everything is now mixed, we are ready. I have my oven set at 350, so it's already preheated, ready to go. I have my muffin cups ready, so I'm gonna start pouring in my muffins. You wanna fit about three quarters of it, the game plan. So we're just gonna pour. And I make a mess when I do this so you guys can laugh at me as you're watching this. Um, but I clean it up before I put it in the oven. That's my game plan. So the other thing I really like about this is everything that's in this treat is something that's healthy. Now, would Chuck and I enjoy this? Probably not, because it won't be like a sweet cupcake of any sort. Um, it'll be like a really boring muffin, to be fair. But it's healthy for the girls and they will love the taste of it. In fact, as we discovered the last time we made pup cakes, Suki Dog thinks that that's just the shit, basically. That's her jam. <laughs> she never had them before. She wants to know why she never got them before. I think she was a little upset. What do you think, Chuck? Was she upset because she'd been held out on all her whole dang life? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. All right, so this is actually, I'm gonna fill these a little bit filler than, fuller than um, three quarters just because I still have a lot in here and I don't wanna waste it. So they'll just make bigger cupcakes. By the way, this smells really good. It's a great combination of peanut butter and banana. So it smells fabulous. Now I'm just gonna clean up my little spots here. So now we're gonna put these in the oven. They're gonna go in at 350 and they are going to bake for 22 minutes or until the top is golden brown. 
or your skewer comes out clean. So, like I said, I'm gonna finish cleaning up my little spot here because I don't want it to cake a bunch of stuff here. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. But then this is going directly in the oven. So we will see you in about 22. Well, actually we'll see you in a few minutes because I'm gonna start the frosting in just a few minutes. So for the frosting, she used potatoes in hers. I'm going a different route because we live in the land of gogoma or sweet potato. And I have three dogs who are addicted to that flavor. Asian sweet potato. Asian sweet potato for the win. So we have about 500 grams of mashed sweet potato here. For the non-metric of y'all, 500 grams is 16 ounces. Pound. It's about a pound. About a pound. Actually, it's just over because a thousand ounces is 2.2 pounds. So it's 1.1 pound. Look at you mathing ounces. and everything. Oh my goodness. Hey, when you live here, these are basic conversions you need to know. All right. So then we're going to add a half a cup of yogurt. For our yogurt, we've got a Greek honey yogurt that both Chuck and I like. So we're going to add that. So the game plan, according to what she says in her recipe, is to try and make this kind of buttercreamy. So we are also adding in two tablespoons of honey. All right, so there's our two tablespoons. All right, then I am going to start mixing this. There is, um, you're supposed to add about two to four tablespoons of water, but I wanna get this mixed up first to see where we are. All right, so now we're gonna add two tablespoons of the water. It says two to four, and I'm gonna start with two. We're looking for a consistency like frosting, which this is close. So I just wanna make sure that I stay in that consistency. I'll say this before I finish mixing. She cooked her potatoes in a pot of water and then drained them and made sure that they were nice and to the edge so that they were crumbly, which you would normally do with like a mashed potato. I was working with sweet potatoes. I threw them in the microwave, not gonna lie. I went the easy route and then I peeled them and then I mashed them. I cheated a little bit on that, but whatever works for you. I also, for the sweet potatoes, wanted to keep more of the sweet potato in and boiling them. Once you pour the water out, you're losing a little bit of that. So that was why I did that. So I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna see where we are. So as you can see, we have some pretty full cupcakes, uh, muffins, whatever you want to call them. I, Chuck and I just discussed, we're probably going to um, do a taste test for you guys of the muffin part. Um, he has already tasted the frosting, which we added a little bit of peanut butter to try and thicken it a little bit, which did work. So at least I kind of was able to overcome my loose with the extra water. So we put a little bit of peanut butter in it. Our kids love peanut butter and apparently peanut butter with sweet potato was not bad, eh Chuck? Eh, not terrible. Okay. All right. So that's where we are now. These are going to need at least for me um, about a half an hour. Things that you should note. Um, that she does put in her recipe, but I'll go ahead and spell them out for you as well. For your peanut butter, you always wanna make sure that whatever peanut butter that you use, that you're checking to make sure it doesn't have xylitol. Xylitol is very dangerous for dogs. Our peanut butter does not have xylitol, so we are good to go. Also, if you're unsure about your peanut butter, always go an all natural one. Those, those typically do have a little bit less of a chance of having the xylitol. So for flour, you could use whole wheat flour. I use regular flour just because that's what we do. The whole wheat flour has a lot more nutrition in it, but I wasn't looking for nutrition. This is part of their treat. This is not their meal. And then I'm just gonna do normal piping. And for storage, she says um, they keep well for about a week, but they haven't lasted longer than that. Keep them in an airtight container in the fridge to ensure that your uh, topping doesn't go off if you use the potato or the sweet potato would be the same. You don't want that to get bad. So that's what we'll do. The biscuit will soften if you put, she put dog biscuits on hers, on top of hers. I'm gonna top mine probably with fruit of some sort. So maybe a little bit of banana, maybe a little bit of strawberry, depending upon what it is. So that's my plan. We will see you in a little bit when we go for piping. All right, we are back. These are cooled. I have removed the, off the three that the girls will be eating, I have removed their papers. So I cut one open because Chuck and I are going to try it. So you can see on the inside, this is an actual muffin. Like there's nothing wrong with it. This is human grade food made for the doggies. So and Chuck, you wanna come over here and try this? Do you want a little bit of frosting on it or no? Eh, I'm like, try it in a second. Stay sucky dog. So in case anybody was wondering what she was looking at, I've got a little rig set up over here with our other camera for the top down view. So we're trying to be more professional. So I gave you a little bit of frosting. Okay. So in my opinion, this is a bland muffin. It is a muffin that has no spice to it. It's it not very sweet. Tastes kind of like a peanut butter sponge cake, actually. 
But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And for dog purposes, this would be pretty dang on healthy. Hmm. How is it with its frosting? It's actually not terrible. <laughs> you want a little more frosting? Hmm. I could eat this. This is a banana. It's like a banana muffin with a little bit of peanut butter to it's it. It's actually not the worst muffin I've ever been given. So. And honestly, it's really moist. Which is really good because it's not super dry because you don't want the dogs hacking that later. Mm. So it's got a really moist flavor to it. It's not terrible. So. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I would eat. <laughs> All right. dogs, Sookie dogs waiting to eat. So I have loaded my piping gun. I am now going to pipe some frosting on the girls' cupcakes. I am not really an expert at piping, by the way. So this is not designed for me to make it pretty. It's just doable. I don't think you need to get too thick with the frosting there. Dude, you don't want it to be too dry on them. They go need some flavor. Sookie Dog said shut up, Chuck. Didn't she? <laughs> she said, your opinion does not matter here. Gotta make them pretty. All right, and then just to make them really beautiful, I'm going to put a little bit of strawberry on them. So Minnie Moo does not really like a whole lot of strawberry. Whereas Sookie Dog... And May May would prefer more. And just for video purposes, got to get that photo, right, Chuck? Yep. So get that photo in. And I think they're ready. I don't know if you're going to be able to hold them back. <laughs> All right, well. So yeah. we're, we're going to give a second. I'm going to put ears up. I actually have to cut minions in half and crumble it a little bit. And I think we decided that Sookie's needed to be done that way as well. Yeah, otherwise she'll try to choke herself on that muffin. So... This and I have got to adapt my camera to handheld mode. Alright, so doggies are getting foods. I'm trying to pull focus as I move here, so. Chucky Sue. Is it good, Minnie Moe? Chucky Sue, did you enjoy that? She said, this is not in my slow feeder bowl. Are you checking, you guys, these are their brand new birthday jammies. Or their prison clothes, as I call them. Minnie Moe. <laughs> mayhem. You, mayhem, you don't have to try and swallow the whole thing. <laughs> May. <laughs> that poor dog. I'm telling you, Chuck. Is it good, Minis? Is it good? Is it yummies? Is it yummies? Do you like it? Slow down a little, May May. You're going to be done in two seconds. I probably should have put hers in her slow feeding bowl. Minnie Moo is gently, gently nibbling. Really, May May? <laughs> She's got the gentle you, nibbles here. That's our, our princess gent gently nibbling on her food. See, I must gently nibble the food so that it gets all of the, the goodness. Sookie so Dog was licking it at first. Now she's finally figured out she can actually eat it. Did you get in there, Shook Shooks? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I have a feeling this is a success. <laughs> May May. This one is a success. <laughs> so when we do something like this, just, just so everyone knows, they have not had very many treats at all today in general. So they haven't had a lot of treats, and we will reduce their dinner they'll basically will be getting a little bit of wet food with their meds in it and that's it for dinner um and an, a longer w-a-l-k to cover the extra food that they normally don't get what you doing mini moosh and he's like uh don't bother me right now i, I am i am eating <laughs> sucky sucky dog what's she doing she's like don't bother me i'm eating she, she is zoned here turn it for you mans Maymay's like, I am licking my bowl clean, Chuck. Do you need to ask? All right, so let's clean up behind the dogs here. Minnie Moo has decided that she, she's really still wanting some. However, she doesn't want to stick her face in the frosting mess. Therefore, she will lick it off of Mama's hands. She, she's not a princess or anything, is she, Chuck? Not a bit. Not spoiled in the least bit, right? Nope. All right, ladies, let's walk off some cupcakes. You get to walk in to the pupcakes. You little sucky shucks. Sucky shucks, you gotta walk it off. Oh, they're gonna get a little dog in. 
The little dog in. So your dog's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. She's like, I'm so full, I can barely move. Also, she probably has to go. <laughs> Girls, are you full? Are you happy? Are you happy? Was it good birthday cupcakes? We've got to walk them off, don't we? Go walk that off, mamas. What you think, Minnie Moe? Got to walk it off? It's the best friend, kids. Are you best friends? So, is this your best friend? You don't want to admit it, do you? Come on, Sucks. We've got to find our leader. Sucks, Sucks. we got to find the leader. All right, so adding on a day or two later. It's actually their birthday today. Today their, is... Their actual birthday. They're actually nine. Oh my goodness, you're such old ladies now. But old ladies like ice cream. So they're getting getting a little treat with their dinner. A little soft serve from the local Loteria. Which, for lack of a better description, is Korean McDonald's. This is our new birthday shirts, too. We played a game yes. earlier. We got the drama queen. And we got... Where's the food? And... Little Miss Attitude. Here you go, Little Miss Attitude. He, he, uh, mayhem. Mayhem. I'm gonna give you some attitude. Mayhem. Stay out of your sister's street. Can you buy what we want it? Chucky's <laughs> <laughs> Chucky Dog. What you got going on? <laughs> She's not the cleanest of eat. Look, you're making a mess. You made a mess in the floor, Sookie. You gotta clean your mess. Look at that tongue go. She loves her food. Yeah, I can get this tongue all the way around the spoon, man. <laughs> oh, you ladies made me laugh. Happy birthday, my lovies. Happy birthday. <laughs> so, our little ice cream doggies down here would like to say that I could subscribe. Look at Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Ice cream. You see, like and subscribe, and, and we'll see y'all next time. Yeah, bye bye.